While the Mongols in the north destroyed the Polish army, Batu Khan and General Subutai rampaged through the south into the heart of Hungary. Tricked into an intense pursuit, the Hungarian king chased down these foreign invaders, all the way to the plains of Mohi. Batu Khan led his warriors across the plains, luring the Hungarian king to a battle site far from the safety of his city. As the Hungarians broke away to regroup across the Sayo River, the Mongols prepared to strike. General Subutai would soon arrive to join Batu, having escorted the Mongol camp to the battle site. While the Khan waited for his general, the Mongol vanguard would probe across the bridge to the north. The Mongols approached the Sayo River and discovered a shallow crossing. Across the bridge, the Mongol soldiers found themselves heavily outnumbered and beat a hasty retreat away from the ambush. This was not the first time Batu had been outnumbered. Drawing on past victories, he began to stage a coordinated attack. Arriving at the battle site, General Subutai quickly assessed the situation.
It's stick boy. Don't 
While Subutai rushed to ready his army, Batu was poised to make another attempt at taking the bridge.
Batu Khan saw his opportunity and pushed across the bridge to meet the Hungarians head on. The Mongols discovered a potential alternative river crossing, a broken bridge. took the bridge and held the open space, forcing the Hungarians into the trees and splitting them into several groups. Now the Mongols could drive the Hungarians back to their camp. One small space with nowhere to run. Come on! 
With the Hungarians pinned down, the Mongols closed in to destroy the last of their army.
The Mongols laid waste to the Hungarian fort, sending their king and the last of his army fleeing for their lives. Once again, Batu Khan and General Subutai had outwitted and utterly destroyed their European enemies, striking terror into the heart of the West. 